Hello, and welcome to Bees and Teeth Stitching. I'm your host, Sebastian. And as you I can tell, I'm going to have to be careful um, because I'm recording a good bit later <coughs> excuse me, than I usually am. Uh, the sun's in a kind of a weird place, so I can't really lean forward or else you can't see my face. Although, I don't know. Maybe you guys don't want to see my face. So, there's that. So, anyway, um, welcome to all you new people, and welcome back to all you... Uh, returning people as well. Uh, my name is Sebastian, and this is a um, channel about cross stitch. And it is actually kind of a little warm in here for tea, but I still have to have tea because I just do. Um, this week is Ahmed Tea's Peach and Passion Fruit, which I've had before, but it is very good. Mm, good. Actually, uh, The passion fruit really cuts down on that kind of strong peachy flavor. So, if you like peach, but, you know, you've had um, teas in the past that are too strong of the peach, that might be a good way to go as a peach passion fruit. So, there you go. Um, let's see. So, so we'll go ahead and start with some, um, uh, just uh, life updates here. Just trying to think. Really not much has been happening. Um... Well, can't honestly think of anything um, really big in the life updates. Our tree is finally down, um, so our living room is a lot larger than it was before. Although it's really not, but it looks a lot larger than it was before. Um, and we may or may not get a big snowstorm in a couple days, so we'll see. Although, honestly, they've been scaling it back because, of course they do, it's the south, and... We never actually get snow when we're supposed to get snow. So, I am not holding my breath. But, um, either way, this is going to be a pretty big event um, for the East Coast. So, um, you know, just kind of keep everybody in your thoughts here. Not necessarily me, because I really doubt much is going to happen here. But, um, more of the people a little, um, a little west and north of me. So... Um, alright, I am going to probably try to do this a little quickly, just because, uh, like I said, I'm, um, I'm actually starting this a lot later than I thought, and, and my time, I have a very limited amount of time here, so if I rush through things, I very much apologize. Um, I don't usually, I try not to talk too fast, um, but I do want to get through everything this week, and I do have quite a bit of, um, stitching. Uh, I tell you what, honestly, being a part of these stitching groups is really making me touch more um, projects and do more on more projects, which is really nice. So that's, you know, I, I do want to keep up with it, but we'll see. I didn't last year, so, um, you know, we'll see how well it works, I guess. Um, so let me go ahead and just um, try to do a quick run through the comments here. Um, like I say every every week, um, I love comments. I read every single one of them. I respond to every single one of them. Um, so, you know, definitely go ahead and send comments my way. I always appreciate them. All right. So, let me see what we have comment-wise here. Uh, all right. So, Becca Lane says, another great video. Thank you. Glad you liked it. I appreciate it. Um, Karen Kirk says, One Nation Looks Great. Thank you. Uh, again, I appreciate that as well. Um, the stars have been very monotonous, um, and I do have some more stars to get through on the next page, um, but I am looking forward to getting to the States. Um, I know that, uh, Vicki Stitch and Button did her home state, which was, um, uh, Pennsylvania, in gold, and I like that idea. I don't know if I'm going to do it, I probably won't do it in Krynik. I'll probably just do it in, like, a gold DMC, or some equivalent um but we'll see when i get there it's it's fairly early on in the states so i probably will get to it you know once i get the state started i'll probably get to it fairly quickly so but i'll make a i'll make a game day decision on that um it's stitch dogs and tea i'm with you on the taste of rubos not my favorite either <clears throat> excuse me but that uh, monsoon one sounds amazing um, yeah, I'm actually glad I'm not the only person who is not a gigantic fan of Rubos. Um, I don't know exactly how to explain it. It's just a very odd tea flavor. 
Um, I have not tried the monsoon yet. I promise as soon as I, I do, then I'll tell you how it is. Um, I should have done it for this, um, for this video, but, um, I'm sorry, I just thought I heard a cat meow. Um, I should have done it for this video, but I wasn't thinking about it. Sorry about that. And no, Selena's not with me right at this moment. Last I saw, she was laying in our bed. Um, I really did think I just heard a meow, but, um, maybe not. Maybe I'm just hearing things, so. Um, Angie, the, the hibernating stitcher, hibernation stitcher, which I love the name. Uh, we've always called Christmas Eve Christmas Adam 2. Thank you, that's, actually, that's really cool. It's, it's good to hear that others have, uh, also heard of that term, so. Uh, love the new camera. So clear. Yeah, it is, um, it's very nice, although, um, I think, like I've said before, the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't go, it goes up and down, which is great, and, uh, that's got plenty of range of movement, but it doesn't seem to go at left or right at all, and that's kind of a pain, but it's a really good camera, so, you know, it's okay. I'll survive. Um, oh, yeah, you finish. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to, to show it to you guys, but, um, I, I'm very happy with how it came out. Um, but yeah, thank you. Um, Marumi says, I like this new camera. The video quality has improved a lot, and your light is much better as well. Um, yeah, again, you know, other than the fact that it doesn't move side to side, it's a great camera. Um, the quality is a lot better. Um, it shoots in a higher, uh, DPS and a higher frame rate. Um, honestly, I mean, obviously I have my window open now, so you're getting, that's why I'm, yeah, that's why I have that glare. Um, but really I haven't changed my lighting at all. I think it's just that this new camera is taking in the lighting better. So, you know, just, you know, for sake of honesty. But thank you, though. I do appreciate that. Um, Roxanne Green says, in Newfoundland, the day before Christmas is called Tibbs Eve. Uh, what's Tibbs Eve? I'm kind of fascinated. I've never heard of it before. Um, I only know one person from that sort of area. Actually, I think he's from... No, I think he's from Newfoundland. Anyway, I guess I need to ask him. Or, I'm mean, going to ask you as well, because I'm kind of curious as to what Tibbs Eve is. So, there you go. Uh, hold on a second, sorry. Hmm. The tea actually has cooled down a little bit, so... Um, it's not a hot day, obviously, um, but I don't have, um, having the, the heat on and having the window open, uh, it's actually pretty warm in here, so I'll probably need to, uh, probably not switch it to air, but at least turn the heat off and maybe run the fan. All right. Uh, Healing Gamer says, wow, the new camera is fantastic. Again, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad a lot of people like the uh, new camera. I really, really needed one, and I'm sorry it took me this long to get one, but I'm very happy uh, that I did. So, there you go. Um, Be Good and Goodbye is from a movie called Rock and Rule, uh, specifically a scene showing a cartoon character saying that line to end a kid's show. Um, I've never actually heard of Rock and Rule. I'll have to do a little bit more research on that one. Um, that's not, that's not one that, um, has been in my wheelhouse, apparently. Uh, congrats on the finish. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, the papyrus fabric is beautiful. Yeah, I just, when, um, somebody actually suggested, well, we were having a brainstorming session, and I don't, I don't remember if I came to that conclusion or if someone else came to the conclusion. I, I don't honestly remember. Um, but I made the, I made the kind of thought out loud of, well, somebody has to have a papyrus fabric out there, and, you know, obviously fabric flare was the place to go, so, um, and they did, so, um, I'm definitely very happy with the choice that I made. I'm very glad that, uh, I got that fabric. Um, your pattern is going to look fantastic on that. Have a great week. Well, again, thank you. Um, it is daunting, um, the, the pattern, I should say. Uh, I haven't given it a, any love in about a week or so, so I need to kind of get back on that so I don't kind of jump off the train there. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to how that's going to look on there. If, if it ever gets finished, hopefully, because it's, it's a big one. <laughs> she big. Um, all right. And so, um, Stitching in High Heels says, congrats on the finish. Thank you. 
Uh, even if you couldn't show it. Yeah. Sorry about that. But, uh, but again, I, I do like, um, I do like how it turned out. Um, can I ask what model of webcam you got? My new phone doesn't have an SD card, so moving files takes longer than do with an old phone. I'm thinking about switching to a camera. Um, so it's a Logitech HD Pro Webcam C920. Um, the quality is really excellent. It has a lot of choices that you can, um, a lot of different versions. Like, you can change its quality. There's a lot of different choices in the amount of quality that you want. Obviously, the higher quality is going to be, um, it'll be a, a larger file, but, um, and, you know, as you can tell, it's, it's really good. It's very, very clear. This is, it's on one of the higher settings now. I don't think it's the highest. Maybe it's next to highest. Um, but, um, um, so this is on one of its higher settings, I believe. And, um. Like I said, other than the fact that it doesn't move side to side, if that's not an issue for you, then I would highly recommend this. Um, I would I, I would highly recommend Logitech just in general. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Um, but hey, Logitech, if you want to sponsor me. Um, but no, I've I've actually used Logitech projects products for decades now. I mean, um, I've used web. I've, this is the probably the fourth or fifth webcam I've had from them. I mean, it's over many years. Um, that last webcam I was using was probably six or seven years old, maybe even more than that. So, you know, I mean, and it's it's not that the webcam was bad. It's not that it stopped working. It's just that there's better quality out now. So that's the only reason I stopped using it. Um, this keyboard that I'm using that is on my lap, this is also, it's a, it's, the way that it works is it's one wireless fob, which controls both the keyboard and the mouse. So, um, you know, that's, um, that's a Logitech as well. So, that's kind of their new, their new logo. But anyway, so yeah, I've given them quite a bit of money over the years. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I, I would definitely recommend a Logitech. If you need something that moves more side to side, um, I don't have a specific model because I, 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 you know, when I got this one, I didn't know that was a, I didn't know that was a thing. So, but, um, just look up other Logitech models and look up the reviews. I'm sure that people can, you know, will tell you kind of, you know, if there's issues with them. But, there you go. <clears throat> um, and finally, hey, it's Stitch Daddy. Uh, these 20 stitches, they say, um, uh, oh, I remember those colors, that green. Um, uh, oh, I really love those. I really, really love those brights. And I'm so glad that DMC are selling them separately. Uh, I think they're talking about the the higher number ones that they sold and then they stopped and now they've started selling again. Because they had a pattern that had one of those high colors. It was an older pattern. And that was between the time when they had stopped selling and then when they started again. Um... And so I think somebody had been able to send them a, um, send them a, a strand. I think I had one that I could have sent them, but I think somebody beat me to it. Um, honestly, I'm not really a fan of bright colors. If there's a pattern that I like that uses them, I'll definitely use it. Um, but I tend to go more towards the earthier, prim sort of colors, even though I'm not really a sampler person. I say that, I'm going to actually... I'm going to actually refute my own information there uh, in a few minutes with that. But uh, in general, I'm not I'm not a traditional sampler. There are some kind of newer, modern sort of samplers that are kind of samplers in the basis sense, but not true samplers um, that I do like. But um, but yeah, give me an earthy tone or a dark tone or a prim tone, and I'll use it like ten ways from Sunday. So there you go. Um, alright, so I moved through those comments pretty quick. Um, I really hope that no one minds that too terribly much. Um, hopefully, you know, you guys still appreciate, um, you know, appreciate that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep, wait, wah, I'm ghostly. Anyway, um, hopefully you guys didn't mind that I moved through that a little quicker. Uh, so let me go ahead and get to stitching. Um, once again, like I said, um, because I'm doing a couple of different stitch places, uh, like, um, 
you know, like, um, six challenges, like I should say. Um, I've actually been able to work on four different projects this week. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's been really cool. And they've been ones that I've really been wanting to get some extra time and love on. So that is a bonus. So first off, I don't know if you guys, you guys maybe haven't seen this one in a while. I don't think. Maybe not since last year. I have to be careful of the glare here. There we go. So this is Good Omens Stained Glass by Dar Darcy Lindbergh. There you go. All right, cool. And so, you know, it's just kind of awesome. I'm really, really, really trying for this page. Well, this is really two pages, actually, this one and this one. But, um, God, this is going to be tough. There we go. Get it closer instead of further away. So, uh, I've been working on these feathers down here. Well, up to here and then down, like here. Um, and then I'm going back up again. So, it's just been a lot of off-white Topi, creamy, whatever that color is. A lot of the zero fell feathers. So, there we go. That is what I have been doing with that. So, yep. That has been really nice. Um, again, this is a lot... This is really good for stitching pretty quickly. Because it's all one color. And you don't really have to think about it. You can just put on a YouTube or do whatever. And just, you know, kind of have that, have that going and... You know, get a feather done or a couple feathers done. So, it's kind of nice. This one definitely requires more concentration. Um, that being said, I still really like how it comes out. Because this is, this is really not in my normal wheelhouse. But, um, especially with this, um, sorry, with this um, border, which is flowery. But not overly girly flowery. But this was a uh, Christmas Bells sampler. See, it says sampler, but it's not really a sampler sampler. Um, this was the one that was supposed to be a different song, um, but they couldn't get the rights to it, which, you know, is sad. But I still like this Christmas song as well. I really, really, really want to get this done by next Christmas. But, yeah, as you can tell by this, yeah, she big too. And this is, this is just a corner of it. I really apologize for the light. I promise this has nothing to do with the camera. This is just that, like I said, during the time of day that I'm in, um, it's just that the light is right in the wrong place. So this is just the, oh, there we go, the upper corner up here. There we go. So that's that's where I am right now. So that is, oops, uh, there we go. Yeah, so this is the top going, sorry, damn it. This is the top going across. And then this is the, that's the corner. And then this is going down like that. So, and I'm not using, um, a crinic or anything for the, uh, gray. I'm just using a over dye gray. Just because there's a good bit of it. And I really don't want to deal with chronic that much. So, so there you go. That one is, is, um, moving along slowly. That was, it's unlikely that this is going to be done by Christmas. Just because that border really takes a lot of concentration. It's several colors. It's like five or six colors in it. This is two shades of green, two shades of red. That's four. Then the silver. So I guess five. Okay. Um, and so, you know, you're having to change colors a decent amount. Not, um, you know, not confetti, obviously, but actually, you know what? I might leave that one to last. This one, I don't remember exactly how much I did since last week, but I think I did some. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here because I think I worked on it some since you've seen it. This is, um, and this is another one I would have really loved to have gotten done by July the 4th, but I don't, and, and it's not that there's a, I'm probably between, probably about a third done. Um, if I really concentrated on it, because it's just a lot of words, I think I could maybe come close, but I just, I don't think it's going to happen for this year, but this is Hamilton versus Seabury, uh, Farmer Refuted, so, um, excuse me, as I've said before, this, it's, um, a song from the play Hamilton, or movie, whatever, um, and there's two people singing over each other, so that's one person's words and the other words, so it's the, just the words from the song, 
And I have actually, I think I had shifted this when I saw you guys last week, but I've shifted it over. So this is, there we go. That is the far, far border there. Um, so this is the upper corner is up here. Um, it's already, it's rolled up. So this is about maybe, you know, the top third, top half of going all the way across. So there you go. And I was working up here with the, um, um, hard to look at you with a straight face. So, and like I said, if I did not, um, if that was exactly where it was last week, then I apologize. Um, I thought maybe I had worked on it a little bit, but maybe I hadn't. So, either have worked on it a little bit or I have not worked on it at all. I'm not sure which. All right. And this last one is the one that I have... Well, you know, I would say I've worked on it the most, but I don't know. I did a lot on those feathers, on those Xerophil feathers. So, it's probably a it's probably a close tie as to how much I've worked on, um, which one I've worked on more. But, and again, this is another one I would have loved to have gotten done by July the 4th, but this is definitely, definitely not getting done by this July the 4th. Maybe next. We'll see. But... And I, I apologize, honestly, the picture that they give is, does, really does no justice. But, this is One Nation by Bygone Stitches. And so, I am up here in all the stars and, uh, little extra little things up there. And, where is it? Do you see? Yep, there we go. There I am. Ta-da! There's South Carolina. So, like I said, I don't, I don't have that far to go before I get to my state. So, that up and I have been doing a crap load there we go of stars Ta -da! so I've definitely got at least a couple of rows of stars done uh, each star is just under a hundred stitches I think maybe like I don't know if it's let's see it's hold on let me think Two, three, four, five, eight times twelve so, 8 times 12 plus 6. Hold on. I'm kind of curious. Hey, Siri. What is 8 times 12 plus 6? 8 times 12 plus 6 is 102. Okay, well, if I did my math, then it's 102 stitches per... Okay, sorry. I'm dropping things. 102 stitches per uh, per thing. Um, so, you know, when you have... Some of the things that I'm doing require 300 stitches. So, you know, it's an easy three stars. You know, or thereabouts. And, um, so it, it doesn't take, uh, it's not that bad. I can do those in, I don't know, I can do a star in, I don't know, hour, hour and a half if I, uh, if I don't have a whole lot of distraction. But anyway, so, there you go. That is, um, and I still love the fact that it's in a London bag because, you know, I'm ironic like that. But, at least, I do have the, um, and that is... Little, okay, what does that say? Little little Boat 88, it looks like. I'm sure I got this one on Etsy. I'm positive I did. Um, this is a um, guaranteed bag, of course. Um, you can always tell because of the cool little folder way it goes. Um, but this is... For some reason, it's upside down the other way. There we go. Um, this is what's holding um, Hamilton. And it's a South Carolina bag, which at least does make sense. Um, I don't... I've probably talked about this before, and I know I don't have a lot of time, but but I will go off on a tangent here. Um, for anybody who has watched uh, Hamilton, uh, either, you know, as a play or on Disney+, Plus, uh, if you have Disney+, Plus and you haven't watched it, you really need to. It's awesome. Um... And, of course, obviously, these are all real people. Um, one of the people in the play is named John Lawrence. Um, and um, he talks about how he was fighting in South Carolina. Um, his father... I don't remember his first name. I should. Uh, his his father lived in South Carolina. Um, 
he was unfortunately he was a slave owner uh even though john his son was very anti-slavery um i don't know exactly how they reconciled that but anyway um he lived in the low country down around charleston down in the lower right hand corner of south carolina um but he was a very big figure in the state at the time so in the 1700s um and although i don't know why it was in this particular location but um john lawrence's father actually had a city named after him well city and a county um there is a city of lawrence and a county of lawrence in south carolina but it's up you know how south carolina is kind of a triangle sort of a rough triangle you know and um if you have the triangle then um you know charleston is down here but greenville and the the um the upstate is uh in the other corner the opposite corner of, of south carolina and that's kind of where lawrence is um kind of the southern part of it and um i'm actually very close to lawrence there's also a lawrence road um which is ironically where my lns is it's off of lawrence road but um so you know the man had a lot of things named after him even though you know he was he didn't fortunately did some very despicable things but um i just thought it was kind of interesting and that's why it's kind of kind of appropriate that it's in the south carolina bag because you know of lawrence so there you go a little bit of history there although something tells me that no one really cares all that much so i apologize but at least to me it's kind of interesting so there you go um <clears throat> all right so moving on then uh let me go ahead and show you haul uh, there is actually some haul this week. I don't think I had any haul last week, did I? Anyway, I don't remember. So, um, I'll do this one first. So, um, always dangerous. Michelle Bendy Stitchy, um, has, um, de-stashes from time to time. And I really know better than to try to, um, you know, try to, uh, uh, go there and get stuff. But I do because, you know, it's always really cool things. So, uh, that's not good. Um, one of the first things I got was a, uh, book chic. So I think this is from, um, you know what? I can't remember the name of the company. I'm so very sorry. Um, but there's a company that makes like these, um, book sleeves, but people use them for patterns. Um, and I have a bunch as well. Um, but check it out. It's like really cute chibi Star Wars got like some Yoda and some R2-D2 and some Han Solo. I'm honestly surprised that she got rid of it because she loves her some Han Solo and some Chewbacca. Wait, hold on. I can do better than that. Anyway, some Darth Vader, some 3 po all that good stuff. But anyway, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, that's what it is. Markers. I mean, not markers. Um, magnets. Magnets, how do they work? Um... Yeah, sorry, old meme. So, I also got four needle minders because, you know, I need more needle minders. Anyway, uh, got a Stormtrooper because Star Wars. Rise and Shine's got a little donut and coffee. And, uh, uh, another donut over here. And this, yeah, there we go, shows. Um, this is Winter Bee by, um... Oh, wow. I can't remember the name. I can see the package in front of me, but I can't remember the name of the company. Um, the, the ones that also did the uh, Tudor Bee and the Sleeping Bee. Um, I actually have the last one, which I think is... I think the Tudor Bee is the last one. Um, I've done the other two. The Blue Flower. I believe it's the Blue Flower. Um, but anyway, so I've already done this pattern, but I just thought that having the needle miter would be really cool because... You know, I thought that'd be cool. And the other bit of haul, uh, trying to figure out where to put all this stuff. Anyway, the other part of the haul is, um, well, actually, I'm trying to debate how I want to do this. Let me show you this first because then this will make a little bit more sense. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I showed you guys this. My corn bag from Vicky Stitch and Button. It's just so random, but I love it. So, um, Coffee Stitcher. Um, who, he doesn't watch this, but, um, who is an awesome person, so, if you're not going to watch, if you're not watching him yet, you should, because he, 
he um, he posts up every Sunday, and they tend to be pretty short videos, so they're very uh, they're very easy to watch. And I, I just I love looking at what he does, and he is as obsessed with um, the Wizard of Oz as I am with bees, maybe even more so. But anyway, he mentioned um, that there was going to be a new cell going along, and while I'm trying not to fall into the trap of cells this year because I still have so many that I haven't done yet. Um, this, I just, I could not resist. So, um, since Betty White passed away, uh, her, um, a bunch of people, I guess, I'm not sure who other than him, but, um, they decided to do a sal. And, um, it's going to be started on her birthday, which is three days from now, the 17th, well, as I'm recording this, the 17th of, um, January of, well, 2022. So, this is, now, Lindy Stitches has had this out for a long time. Um, so this is not a new sampler. And again, this is while saying where it's not really a traditional sampler, but I still like it. That's why I was saying I'm kind of lying, but not exactly. But it is, uh, it's called the Walk Fast Sampler. And it says, uh, it's like that old Scandinavian saying, you can lead a hare into water, but you have to walk fast or he'll die. So, uh. That was something that um, Rose Nylon, uh, Betty White, said in um, Golden Girls. I watch Golden Girls a lot. I honestly, there we go. I honestly don't remember that particular saying, but, I mean, you know, this was many, many years ago, so. Uh, but, yeah, I, I watched the Golden Girls a lot when I was younger. Uh, so, I'm going to start this um, on the 17th with whoever else. Um, and this is a fabric that I have literally had for about three years now that I've been trying to figure out what I want to use it on. And I think I'm finally figured out, I think I'm going to use it for this. It's called Demoiselle. That's a 14 count Ada. And I love that the tag says new for 2019. So that tells you that I got it. Well, this is the tag for my LNS, but, um, but yeah, so, um. Yeah, this was uh, new for 2019, but it's called Demoiselle. There we go. That's actually pretty nice. That's fairly true to color. So it's it's subtle, but there's a lot of colors in there. There's um, um, greens and purples and yellows. Actually, you can kind of see a little, a little swatchy yellow over here. There you go. That's not a stain. That's actually a swatchy yellow. So greens and purples and blues and a little bit of yellows and greens. Um... But it's subtle, so I think the colors will look good on it. Um, so that's going to go there. I'll put that back in here. And the reason I bring that up, because um, I don't usually talk about things I haven't started yet, is because I needed a few more colors. And I'm like, okay, well, I need these pretty quick. Um, and unfortunately, my LNS has been having some real trouble getting colors in. It's not their fault. It's just, um, you know, it's, it's supply and demand. They're getting um they're getting the colors out to to uh, stores as quick as i possibly can so um i was like well okay where was some place that could ship pretty quickly i love one two three stitch i truly do but they are not very fast when it comes to shipping um so if it's something that you need very quickly they're not always the best place to go to but uh if you need something quickly then one place I would absolutely, absolutely recommend is uh, Fire Poppies. Uh, let me just, there we go. Trying not to show you everything else that's on there. Yes, so this is the place in, I say Charleston, even though it's, it's actually, um, I think it's actually Somerville, isn't it? Yes, in Somerville, which is just a, it's just a little outskirt of, of Charleston, South Carolina. Um, they, they're great. I've actually visited there two, three times now. Because uh, it's, it's about three, three and a half hours away from me. So it's a place that I can go, but not just to go down there. I have to be, I have to be going to Charleston for something else. Because it's, it's not long enough to just make an easy trip. But, um, they are super fast. They're super nice. They're awesome people. I would 1000% recommend ordering from them whenever you can. Um, and they have a pretty good selection. Their selection of, of, uh, threads is really good. Their selection of, uh, fabrics is excellent. Um, I've, I've gotten some other, like, I know you guys, I showed you guys the bloodstain fabric. That came from Fire Poppies as well. 
But um, anyway, so I wrote a little note on here. I said, um, I'm trying to remember when I ordered this. It was only like two or three days ago, I think. Uh, hey, I know this is short notice, and if you can't do it, I totally understand, but I would really love to have this floss by January 17th if possible. It's for a Betty White sale that's starting on her birthday, and we're doing the Walk Fast Summer from Lindy Stitches. Thanks. So, I love, I love that they just put this on, like, girl, we gotcha. I just thought that was hilarious. So, I just wanted to show that. And, of course, they always give you the Charleston Chew, which I'm, I know, I'm a terrible South Carolinian. I'm not a huge fan of toffee. But my husband will appreciate this. So, he always gets my Charleston Chew when I order from Fire Poppies. So, sometimes he doesn't mind too terribly much when I order from them because of that. Come on. Focus. Um, but, all that to say that I ordered the last few um, uh, things from them. So, I needed a bunch of Amber Waves. So, I got Amber. This is all Classic Color Works. Amber Waves, uh, Sunset, and unfortunately the light is really screwing these colors up. I'm sorry about that. This is Root Beer Float, which seems kind of pinky for a Root Beer Float. You'd think it would be a lot browner than that, but meh. Uh, Cherry Tomato, which honestly, color-wise, it's not that, it's not really that different at all from Sunset. It's hard to tell on here. You can tell one's a little pinker, one's a little redder. But if those two are close together, it's going to be a really subtle difference. And then I needed a bunch of the Bejeweled, but I only needed one extra. Hopefully the colors will match. But uh, anyway, so yeah, there we go. And I love this color, Bejeweled. That, is that not the coolest color? I have a the Tempting Tees by Tempting Tangles, which I need to start, has a bunch of this Bejeweled in it as well. So that's actually pretty cool. All right. Uh, that actually is all of my haul. wasn't too bad. Um, so tomorrow is now we. It's second Friday. Normally I would have um, stitched today, but unfortunately, like I said, I've just had some time issues and uh, some work, and I have some more work that I need to do. Unfortunately, once I'm done with this, so um, I was not able to go today, but I will go tomorrow. So I may or may not have haul. We'll see um, once I go. Um, because this, whatever this storm is going to be, I don't know what it's going to be yet. Um, it's not supposed to come in until late Saturday night. So um, there's no, there won't be any problems stitching tomorrow. I'll be able to get home well before this gets started. So, yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, yeah, actually, I am kind of rushing through this. I'm... I'm really sorry. I'm hopefully I'm not. Um, um, excuse me. I'm just, wow, getting some uh, getting some hiccups going on there. Um, hopefully I'm not rushing too much. You know, please tell me what you guys think. If I'm if I'm talking too fast, I'll like I said, it's more of a time ish issue for today. But um, you know, what what do you guys think? If I did okay, or if it was too fast, or uh, especially if there's anything you weren't sure about or didn't understand what I said, please ask. I am more than willing to, to, you know, to respond and clarify what I'm talking about. Oh, wait. And this is my, um, come on now. There we go. I am serious. So don't call me Shirley. And then, um, Otto is my co-pilot. It is an official Paramount, uh, airplane mug that I found for 99 cents at a Goodwill. One of my best Goodwill hauls ever. Ever. Ah, that may be and Finding Mitchell on VHS. Anybody who knows MST3K knows what I'm talking about when I say Mitchell on VHS. So, there you go. Um, Alright. So, let me just go ahead and get the of the weeks. And then I think we should be all set. Um, before I forget, also, um, I do have the Buy Me a Coffee link down below. Obviously, you know, nothing is required. It's just something that is nice. Um, if you like what I do, um, if you'd like to help out with, um, you know, shipping when I send things out, um, you know, it's always appreciated. Um, also, on that note, I sent out, um, 
I believe it was Healing Gamer. You were the one who won my um, my 300 giveaway, right? I believe it was I believe it was Healing Gamer. Um, that was sent out yesterday. And what was the other one that I sent out yesterday? Um. Oh yeah. Um, I don't think they actually watch, but just in case they do, um, in case somebody gets in touch with them, um. Um, Karen and Brendan, I have sent your stuff to your U.S. friend address. Your, your friend's address. There you go. Okay, so I should have done that literally months ago. But uh, I did finally get it sent out. Alright, um, and also, um, uh, D, yours is sent out as well. It's just a little um, envelope, so. I think that's everything. Yeah. I think I'm good. I still need to send um, Stitch and Button the tea that I promised her. So that's one that's one that I need to do in the future. Uh, also, um, Carlina, I do want to still send out your package again. Try to resend it. Um, but I don't know when. Um, that will be something I'll do in the future. Okay. I think that's all shipping news. That was a lot of shipping. Um, so, like I said, you know. If ever you guys want to buy me a coffee, I appreciate it. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing another giveaway anytime soon. Um, I don't have anything in particular to celebrate, but I may just see what I have and maybe, I don't know, maybe a magazine or maybe stuff from inside a magazine. I don't know. I'll see what I've got. See what I can do. Um, cause, um. I know, you know, it's 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 really nice. I, I know that people do appreciate it. Um, but yeah. So, um, alright, so of the weeks. So, the Stitchy website of the week um, is going to be Snarky Crafter Designs. Once again, this is an Etsy. Um, it's, uh, there's a lot of really good Etsy stores. So, hopefully you guys don't mind that um, I keep highlighting different Etsy stores. Uh, this one, they have, they specialize more in... Um, um, in needle minders, but they do have some patterns too. And, and like, like the title says, they are kind of, they're kind of snarky and that's, you know, I, I love that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, that's, they're definitely somewhere to look at, to take, take a look at. Mm. I'm honestly surprised. I guess Selena is just really, she probably went back to sleep on the bed. So. I guess we are not going to get a Selena side this week, so I do apologize for that, but cats do as cats do. Um, the non stitchy website is a place called J-List. So, I I'm not huge into, like, Japanese culture and such, but um, I do like some of the stuff. And there are... Sorry. Ah, this... Wow. Tell you what, these... Um, just the changing weather is just wreaking havoc with my sinuses um but anyway so j-list um they have a lot of different japanese snacks i think they have a <laughs> it's a snack section it's a snack -tion. anyway um they have no, they have a section for um for snacks like more savory snacks as well and um so i have not ordered from them yet but um there's some really nice stuff on there that i really like um if you guys haven't tried it there's a bunch of really cool um uh, Japanese um, Kit Kat flavors, including there was one that is a uh, matcha tea, which is really good. Um, there is a it's not rose. It's it's in a like a light light pink coloration. Oh, I think it was cherry blossom. I think is what it was. Uh, that was really good. Um, I know there have been others. I can't think of what they are off the top of my head, but um, that, that kind of stuff is, is stuff I really like to try. So, and when you get it from a place that can import it, it might be a little bit more expensive, but it's a lot safer than trying to get it from Japan, which you don't know how long it'll take or if it'll melt or, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, but yeah, so it's something worth taking a look at. Um, all right. So the last one is, oh, hi, Selena. You're actually awake. Are you going to come visit? I love this sleepy look. Like, when she's when she's just woken up, like, 
Her eyes are open, but they're still kind of like not all the way open. Nope, she's like, okay. Sorry, she found a, um, she found a sunbeam because the window is open. So, um, I should say the curtains open. So she's still not going to visit us, but she is at least, she's right off camera. So she's over there on the floor. But anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. I thought it's, wow, I just, I totally squirreled on that. Ooh, the ADHD is strong today. Woo! Um, BFAX. I think is what I was talking about before that. Anyway, um, BFAX of the week is that bees can solve basic math. Once again, I like this website. It has a lot of really cool facts, but it doesn't give any context. So I don't know what the story is about uh, bees being able to solve bas basic math. How exactly they know this. So, but I mean, if it's true, which I assume is true, as I mean, it seems like a reputable website. Um, that's pretty neat. You know, I think there's a lot more to bees than um, people think. So, um, yeah, I guess that is about it. Um, yeah, she's quite comfortable on the floor right now, so unfortunately she is just not going to visit us. So I apologize. And you know what I tried? I tried to turn the camera around last week, and that was a bit of a disaster. So I am not going to turn try to turn the camera around this week and give you a shot of Selena. So I apologize for that. Um, okay, so I guess that is about it. So for me and an absent Selena... I guess I will say, see you next week. Bye.